What's up, everybody? Um, it's me, Michael Shockman. I'm just creating this video, um, this this kind of little thing, um, to kind of test out the waters, as it were. Um, I'm considering, in addition, well, really following my the second season of my uh, either the second season of my. Um, Battletech Simplified series, or possibly, uh, if not on that, if not on the Institute channel, then on the, uh, um, the regular DM Shockman channel, uh, doing a series on how to, just a little foray, I guess it is, I guess it would be, into my thoughts on D&D 5th edition and how to run it the way that I like to run it. Which is really kind of a, not necessarily a low magic, but just more of a gritty kind of um, way. And the best way I can put it is taking Arthurian legend um, and putting it into uh, in that general kind of historical mythology type of thing. And uh, trying to convert it into D&D 5th edition um, without using like a... Um, a retro clone or something like that. So, um, let me know in the comments what you think, um, to kind of give you a little taste of what, um, I'm, I'm thinking of doing on it. I'm probably, if I, if you guys do want to see it, um, comment down below and let me know. Uh, if I don't receive any comments, I'll mainly go off of views and really if I get like, uh, probably... I'd say probably about 50 views on this and possibly uh, um, like ten, 5 to 10 likes. I'll probably do a test season of like 5 or 6 episodes just on basic stuff. Um, they'll probably be like 5 to 10 minutes long each. Um, but to give you an idea of what kind of stuff I would cover, it would be things like how best to... Um, handle the different races in D&D, uh, how to, how to, how to basically reconcile the different races that are in D&D 5th edition, um, with, uh, um, with what would realistically be in an Arthurian type of world or something like along those lines, uh, and, um, like how to, how best to either limit or thematically and narratively alter the origins and appearances of various races uh, to fit that kind of world um, as well as things like uh, how to limit magic uh, and how to how to work around different magic how to thematically and narratively um, flavor magic in such a way that it doesn't quite seem like it's over the top um, because Arthurian and otherwise and contemporary mythologies while they're not low magic they are technically a little bit less fantastical so yeah um, doing a little bit of ho a little bit of housekeeping on that is kind of necessary if you're wanting to keep it from going off the rails too quickly um, but uh yeah um, I would have to say that in addition to those two things, probably being able to cover, um, go over what I do, because I run, um, I've run several campaigns now that I've written, uh, myself in an Arthurian-esque world that I've created, um, so I will probably give some, in some insights into what I do and give you some ideas of um, how I do things, so maybe you can use it in your attempts to do so. Uh, everything from classes, magic, uh, leveling, what the ideal level, um, to start is, what the ideal level for that kind of campaign is, uh, like the level range and everything like that. Um, in addition to things like, uh, how to do magic items, what kind of magic items to do, um, what not to do, 
uh, various things regarding um, uh, if you're playing with a group that is, a, whether you're playing with a group that's a little bit more beer and pretzels, or you're playing with a group that's a little bit more wanting to have more of a critical role type of uh, experience, or anything in between, in addition to the fact that a lot of the time these days, there are a lot of groups that, um, some people in these groups are okay with certain things in their games, uh, other people are not. So being able to always make sure, cover the importance of getting consent and, uh, staying away from the things that are not consented to by the group as a whole, um, would probably be something I'd also cover. So considering that that type of world, um, not quite as much as some others, but it can lend itself to some pretty gnarly and uh, screwed up stuff. So it's really kind of a balancing act and I would definitely want to be able to put my two cents in and how to, <clears throat> how to try and handle that. Um, anyway, uh, this video has been going on now for a little over six minutes, so I'm going to cut it off here, but... Um, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, tell me what you think. Again, if I get like 50 views over, I'm gonna put this on. By the time you guys are seeing this, it's gonna be on both the DM Shockman YouTube channel as well as the DM Shockman Institute channel. Um, if over the, if within the next week I get uh, at least 50 views on it, and also total get about 10 likes on it total, I will probably end up, uh, um, doing a little test season to see what you guys think, uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much, hope you guys are having a great day, I'm Michael Shockman, I've been your host and commentator, and until next time, until we see each other again soon, remember as always, keep it real, keep it safe, keep it healthy, and we'll see you guys again soon, hopefully, in Albion. Later, everybody.